The China Entrepreneur Club is the elite of the elite, the top thousandth of the 1%. It's 49 Chinese business people who in 2015 had a combined $600 billion of gross annual income. And Justin Trudeau is too quick to become friends with them. Last October, the China Entrepreneur Club toured Canada with Justin Trudeau and the federal government playing host. In true Chinese regime fashion, media access was heavily restricted. As we all know, this is how Justin Trudeau feels about China. There's a level of, of uh, admiration I actually have for China. Um, because their you know, basic dictatorship is allowing them uh, to actually turn their economy around on a dime. I have my eye on the communist regime, given all the Canadian companies that are being sold to either state-owned or state-influenced mainland Chinese companies. I've been sounding alarm bells about the growing soft power from China within our country. Since Justin Trudeau has taken power, we've seen a large seniors care chain in BC sold to China. We've seen a Montreal laser technology company with military applications also sold to China. And now most recently we've seen the Grouse Mountain Ski Resort sold to a Chinese company. Throw in the hundreds of millions of dollars coming in from mainland China into the Vancouver and increasingly Toronto real estate markets and Xi Jinping's soft power strategy is in full flight. And I just so happened to get my hands on a recent access to information packet from the October tour of Canada by the China Entrepreneur Club. And I think I finally realized why Justin Trudeau and the Liberals admire China's basic dictatorship so much. They like to do business in the same way. One that is full of cronyism, favors for the well-connected, and simply helps the rich get richer. Let me explain. It should come as no surprise that the two most prominent Canadian companies who engage with the China Entrepreneur Club during their visit are two of the Liberals' favourite, and two of Canada's most crony, Bombardier and Powercorp. The former receiving hundreds of millions in taxpayer bailouts from the Liberals, and the latter being the most Liberal Party of Canada company in our country. I've mentioned before about Power Corp and that it is a company where former Liberal Prime Ministers Chrétien, Martin and Trudeau Sr. have either had a strong connection or worked for Power Corp themselves. In fact, Power Corp is the reason why a company called Wealth Simple landed none other than our Prime Minister Justin Trudeau as their spokesperson. And for this tour by the Entrepreneur Club, the Liberal Party and Chinese government way of doing business are a match made in heaven. At one point we see a letter from the government to Bombardier requesting their support for the tour. Like it should even be a question after all the bailout money. Later in the packet we see that Power Corp has organized and put on a horse-drawn carriage architectural tour of Montreal for the Entrepreneur Club. And we also find out that for the Power Corp meeting with the Entrepreneur Club, former Prime Minister Jean Chrétien was present. Of course he was. Do you see how similar the elitism is within both our Liberal government and this China Entrepreneur Club? There is another concern that I believe was likely given very little weight by our dictatorship admiring Liberal Prime Minister and Liberal government when it comes to doing business with China. Intellectual property theft. And you know, it was just this week that the Trump administration announced that they would be investigating and ramping up the pressure on China where they force US firms who do business in the country to hand over intellectual property. And within this A-tip packet, something else caught my eye that may fall under this area of concern. The Chinese and the Chinese government and this entrepreneur club are obsessed with Cirque du Soleil. At one point, government staffers mentioned the Chinese are interested in getting, quote, an in-depth look at Cirque du Soleil, unquote. And later they quote, the China Entrepreneur Club said that they hoped the visit could show both the performance side of what, the, of what Cirque does, but also have a discussion on how they operate as a company and manage the technology and innovation behind such high-end performances, unquote. Now, we're not going to be sure what was discussed between Cirque and the China Entrepreneur Club, and, but by the sound of those inquiries and the digging done by these members of the Entrepreneur Club, I'd say it's safe to say they want to take what Cirque does and replicate it somehow. Now I'm not saying that they would do anything illegal, but we have to remember that when doing business with China, vigilance is needed. Never assume they believe in free market capitalism. For the Rebel.media, I'm Christopher Wilson. TheyCan'tStopUs.com. We're fighting back against the censors at Google and YouTube, but we need your help to go 100% independent with our new app. Will you chip in? Help us out? Thanks a lot.